Rivers, please welcome to the stage my friend and yours, Andy Lyman. Great job. Yeah. How many people out there have ever worked retail? Yeah. How many people have dealt with shitty customers? <laughs> Yeah, so I've been doing comedy for almost 15 years. The only thing I've ever done longer is I've worked in a grocery store in a meat department for 20 goddamn years. <laughs> um, and so I started a blog which was based on all the weird shit the customers say. Uh, and off of that blog, I've now made a show, uh, which I'm going to preview for you guys right now. And I just want to stress before I start, all of this is based in reality. Every character is based on somebody I've actually worked with. Uh, every event that happens in the show is something that has really happened. And I cannot stress this enough, every word that every customer says is something an actual human being said to me. Uh, thank you so much, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, excuse me, is this there where you make the sandwiches? Uh, no ma'am, you're in the meat department. Uh, wouldn't want a sandwich I would make, it would be raw. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the deli is uh, on the other side of the store. <laughs> Thank you. Have a savings filled day. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to know that that lobster tail that I bought was the toughest thing I've ever eaten. Oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. Uh, how did you cook it? Cook it? <laughs> uh, yeah, they're not cooked. Uh, they're raw. Oh, Lord Jesus, what did I do? <laughs> uh, have a savings filled day. <laughs> Do you do rotisserie chickens here? Uh, no, sir. They do in the deli on the other side of the store. I'm not familiar with the store. Where is that? <laughs> the deli is on the opposite side of the store. I am not a regular customer. <laughs> do you have a place in this store that does prepared foods like rotisserie chickens? Yes, sir. In the deli, as far as you can walk that way on the other side of the store. Just go to get hit a wall. You should have just answered my question the first time. Have a savings filled day. <laughs> Morning, Ben. Anybody here from Ed? How's his back? Morning, Alex. Uh, Ed called out. He said he threw out his back because you startled him. I didn't startle him. I, he just hurt his back. <coughs> Wait, he's the manager. If he's not here, who's running this place? Well, we are, but we don't have time to worry about that right now. It's Senior Citizens Day. <laughs> <laughs> We're already getting slaughtered. I'm going to go cut a few rump roasts. The only thing old people love more than their 5% discount is a good roast. Good luck out here. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. <coughs> I don't eat meat. <laughs> was, there, was there something I could help you with? I need to pick out a steak for my husband. I, I don't eat meat. Oh, uh, all right, well, do you know what type of steak he likes? He says he likes fillets. I don't eat meat. Uh, okay, well, I've got tenderloin fillets and sirloin fillets. I don't eat meat. Uh, the tenderloin's the better cut. I don't eat meat. Let's just go with the tenderloin. Uh, here you go, have a savings filled day. Thank you. I don't eat meat. <laughs> Hey, Tommy. Oh, Jesus, Alex, you startled me. Oh, my back. <laughs> now I know how Ed felt. <laughs> uh, thanks to you, I had to come in on my day off. I didn't startle Ed. I just walked in the cooler. Fuck off. I hear you. Just don't get any ideas about adding me to your hit list, killer. <laughs> oh, I was so looking forward to not working Senior Citizens Day. Have you been out there? It looks like an episode of The Walking Dead. <laughs> Excuse me. Are these shrimp cooked? Uh, no, ma'am. I, I do have cooked shrimp here. The gray ones are raw, the pink ones are cooked. But the pink ones are so much more expensive. Do I really need to cook the gray ones? Oh, God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Sorry, if there's anything I can do for you, just let me know. Have a savings filled day. Oh, Jesus, I swear to God, every time an old person talks, all I hear is, what? <laughs> Excuse me. What do you think I should get, ribeyes or New York strips? Oh, the New York strips look really great today. It was a really pretty loin. 
I don't like New York strips. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, ribeyes are a great steak too. Okay, I'll take one. What? I'm sorry, did that man just quack at me? Uh, no man, he's just clearing his throat. Uh, here you go, have a savings for the day. <laughs> that was supposed to be a phone ring. <laughs> Wrong track. <laughs> <laughs> Always pay for your booth guy. <laughs> Chambers Meat and Seafood Department, this is Alex, how may I help you? Yes, this is Mrs. Morrison. Do you have a brisket? Uh, Tommy, do we have a brisket? Uh, Jesus, it's Mrs. Morrison. Yeah, tell her we got one. Uh, yes ma'am, we've got a brisket. Is it tender? Uh, sort of. Briskets aren't normally known for being real tender. Do you have a brisket? Uh, yes, ma'am. I've got a ton. And it's tender? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Could you check? Oh my God. Could I check if the brisket is tender? Mommy, she wants me to check if the brisket is tender. Uh, just put her on hold for a minute, come back and say yes. Uh, Mrs. Morrison, can you hold on one second? I'm going to check on that brisket for you. Is it tender? Uh, please hold. <laughs> How could she be that old and not know how to buy a brisket? How could she be that old and not, know, not be dead? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Here comes Richard. I'm out of here. I don't need to hear another football story. <laughs> How's my mate team doing today? Uh, pretty good, Richard. Uh, just trying to cover for Ed being out. You know, if he was more of an athlete, he wouldn't have gotten hurt when you startled him. <laughs> I mean, look at me. Been working here 35 years, never once been hurt. <laughs> Because of all the sports I played in high school. <laughs> I tell you, I was the captain of my football team. It took us all the way to state. Oh, hey, Ben, come here for a sec. Morning, Richard. Ben, I'm glad you're here. Uh, just got a memo come down from corporate. Uh, they're going to unveil a new brand of beef. They're calling it Cowboy Beef. <laughs> and they're going all in for this one, guys. There's going to be commercials and signs. Plus, you boys get to wear cowboy hats. I don't really want to wear a cowboy hat, Richard. <laughs> ben, corporate wants cowboy hats, so they get cowboy hats. And I need you to get behind this. With Ed being hurt, there's a good chance he's not coming back. If that's the case, I want you to be the manager back here. I'm going to recommend you to corporate. Whoa. I've always wanted to be a manager, so, uh, well, yeehaw, I guess. <laughs> that's the spirit, Ben. All right, hold on. All right, I'll be there in a second. Some sort of incident in the men's room. I'll check back in with you boys later. <laughs> yeah, Margaret and I were talking about you coming over for dinner. It has been far too long. Uh, yes, sir. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, well, no. Judge Daniels is coming over, and you haven't seen him in forever. You should make the time. Uh, if you need anything, I'll just be right over here. Mm -hmm, yeah, well, no, you haven't seen the new deck. It is really spectacular. They did a fantastic job. I'll just be right over there. All right, well, we'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Where the hell is everyone? I require assistance. Uh, yes, sir. I I'm very sorry. I am the customer, young man. You are supposed to serve me when I need it. I am very sorry. Uh, what can I do for you? I'm having five people over for dinner. <coughs> Give me 20 of your cheaper shrimp. <laughs> and hurry up, young man. You have wasted far too much of my time already. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, here you go. I, I am very sorry. Uh, have a savings-filled day. That was bad <coughs> customer service, young man. You are engaging in sharp practices. Sharp practices. <laughs> Ben, what does sharp practices mean? I don't know. He says it every time he's in here. I call him bow tie guy. He's always a dick. Why is he like that? How many gallons of spit do you think that guy's eating in a lifetime? <laughs> gallons of spit? I mean, I know I wouldn't do anything to his food, but I can't say that about everybody he's rude to. Number one rule in life, don't mistreat the people that handle your food. All right, I gotta go check the order in. Can you uh, handle things by yourself out here for a few minutes? Uh, yeah, sure thing, Ben. Is this where you make the sandwiches? Uh, no, that's on the other side. Of the store? Yes, of the store. <laughs> hey, uh, you open? Uh, yes, sir, what can I do for the two of you? Promise the uh, little lady here I'd make a flank <laughs> steak for dinner. Uh, you got me a thicker one? It doesn't have to be that big, honey. Oh, actually, honey, it does. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm not actually a meat cutter. Um, I get somebody to cut it for you. Just give me about five minutes. Oh, that's fine. There's no rush. Uh, are you saying you can't cut this for me? Well, I, I'm, I'm not trained. What the hell do I pay you for? I don't like to wait for service. Um, it's fine, honey. That's not a big deal. Nope, I'm going to customer service to complain. Sorry, he just gets like this. Unbelievable!
Some asshole took a bunch of gallons of milk and orange juice, sliced them, and threw them around the men's room. It's disgusting. There's milk and OJ everywhere. Johnny to the men's room. Bring a mop. You're going to make Johnny clean it up? He's like in his 80s. Yeah, well, he's also a bagger. It's kind of his job. <laughs> hey, Johnny, do this. Johnny, do that. Can't trust these young kids to do anything. They just play grab ass all day. Want something done, it's just with me. Sweet Jesus, what happened in here? As if my day wasn't bad enough, now I gotta call corporate and file a damn incident report. Hello? Yeah, she's the brisket tender. <laughs> brisket? What brisket? <laughs> Mrs. Morrison, uh, uh, Mrs. Morrison, the brisket we have is very tender. Could you check? You want me to check again? Okay, please hold. <laughs> Alex, while I got you here, I want to talk to you about an opportunity. With uh, Ed being out, we're going to need more help during the day. Uh, I want to put you in the apprentice program. You know, you'd learn how to cut meat. Be a great job opportunity for you. Oh, uh, I appreciate it, but I think I, I was kind of thinking about going back to school. <laughs> school? What for? Well, graphic design. I, I, just, I just took a semester off to try to save some money. No, 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 no. I mean, why would you go back to college? You got a great job here, man. I mean, people got to eat. That's job security 101 right there. Alex, let me tell you something. 1973, championship game. We're down by three on our own 20 with less than a minute on the clock. Now all we got to do is dink and dunk it down the field, 40, 50 yards, kick a field goal, go to OT. That's what the coach wants me to do. I snap the ball. I see my tight end run a perfect five and out. But then I see my wide receiver running the fly and as a step on the DB. 80 yards to glory in front of him. I got two choices. Which one do you think I took? I, I don't know, you threw the ball? You're damn right I threw the ball! Because champion sees the day. You know, I took a chance and now every night before I fall asleep I get to see that trophy on my shelf. So you gotta ask yourself something. You want to go back to college or be a high school hero? <laughs> Will Alex go into the Mean Apprentice program? What about his hopes and dreams? Will that one guy ever find the deli? Uh, find out this Piccolo's Palato during Butcher Stories. <laughs>